Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at UNH, the Thompson School Landscape Construction Program. I'm joined by Margaret Hagen. And Margaret, behind you is a beautiful waterfall, but uh, where's the pond? Well, it's actually a pondless water feature. And so the water comes down, it goes into a retaining box, and then it just gets recirculated. So it goes over and over and over again. Now, we see them installing uh, part of the patio here. And right. what is uh, unique or, or special about this patio? So this is a pervious paver system. And people generally who are adjacent to water bodies may need something like this because they have to keep their storm water on site. And the way it works is that um, you put in a ground material that's fairly large and then you put in quarter inch stone and you follow it up with bedding stone and that happens before you even put a single paver down and the idea is that it will hold water so that it infiltrates so anything coming right. off a deck or a driveway or a roof. Now I have pavers here so uh, anyway we can see that they're uh, different sizes. as well. Right so a permeable paver is a little bit larger and a little bit thicker and the idea is that because there's a little space not that big a space a little space between the pavers, about a quarter of an inch, then you fill it with sand and the water moves in from the sand into the holding system down below. Okay, and finally, why is this important? This is important because um, a lot of old small camps on properties are being torn down and big houses with lots of impervious pavement are there and we need to deal with that. Okay, so that's it for today's Grow It Green.